This amazing house belongs to a TV personality. It was listed for sale and it was sold for $2.78 million. The property had been listed for 64 days. And in summary, this Skyridge container home is an off-grid, solar-powered and eco-friendly home sitting on a big piece of land equivalent to four hectares. So looking at the listing photos, this amazing house has got a mixture of building materials which include steel, glass, concrete and four 20-foot shipping containers. If you are to run through the listing photos, you will see clearly the house sits in a very green and highly forested uh, piece of land. On the inside, there's also a bit of uh, dark colored furnishings, uh, as you can see on the living space right there. The same is extended to the industrial style kitchen. I like this movable uh, under the counter storage cabinets. I also like this industrial style lighting above on these I-beam sections. Yeah, that's another view of the house interior. This is from the bedroom, which is on the upper level of the house. Another view of the bedroom. There's a bathtub right there with amazing view uh, through the full height glazing. Yeah, another view of the bedroom also showing the bathtub and the frosted glass for privacy. Beautiful view of the bedroom. I like the mix of the soft and the hard or the industrial style finishes on the roof and also the carpet on the on the floor. This is a view of the living space. Something notable in this space will be this big industrial style fireplaces to keep the house warm. You will notice that this is an open plan double volume space and therefore quite an amount of heating will be required to keep the space warm during cold weather. A closer view of the fireplaces, the nice industrial view of the house from outside. You can see the vertical uh, ribs of the corrugated steel siding, it's painted black. There's a view from the terrace, a closer view of the shipping containers suspended on these tapered concrete pillars. A closer view of the house in the midst of this eucalyptus forest. Something interesting with these shipping containers, you'll find that there are 20 foot shipping containers, there are four of them, and that's where the four bedrooms are located. This type of containers used in this particular building are called open side storage containers, whereby you have openings on both the docking ends of the shipping container and also on one side whereby you have four folding doors that can open wide to allow for easy loading and offloading of cargo so in this particular instance this particular container was used and they took advantage of this opening to create a full height glazing for each of these bedrooms this is an interesting view of the house as i indicated to you we have these four shipping containers two on either side and are sitting on tapered concrete pillars. The open side shipping containers are indicated right there. The good thing with this particular arrangement, these doors can also serve as shutters to lock up the space and also maybe to protect the glazing from harsh weather elements like tornadoes, and even say hurricanes if especially if you are building in a space that is prone to hurricanes or tornadoes that view is showing the two bedrooms on this particular elevation you will notice the full light glazing on both the first floor level and on the ground floor level of the house these are the floor plans the ground floor level of the house is exclusively accommodating the living spaces the living room the dining and the kitchen then we have uh, a steel staircase cutting through the middle of the space connecting to the upper story of the house which accommodates four bedrooms you have one two three and four or one two three and four bedrooms 
they are all ensuite bedrooms. So those are amazing interior views. You'll notice those two fireplaces, the cowhide floor mats. Yeah, that beautiful industrial style single flight staircase connecting the first story of the house. You'll also notice this kind of pendant lighting above the dining space. So the finishes in this house are purely industrial, amazing uh, lighting fixture right there. Yeah, the dining table, some rustic feel given to it, both on the floor mat and also on the timber that's been used to create this amazing uh, dining table. Yeah, so if I was just run, to run through these listing photos, you will see clearly what I'm talking about. So if this kind of finishes is your cup of tea, then this particular style of a house would be something that will bring you a lot of joy. I like the way the house has been balanced. It's purely uh, industrial in nature. The embrace of the industrial style of finishes on both materials and finishes has been exploited through and through. So, uh, which part of this amazing house appeals to you the most? You can give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video, as usual, you can give it a thumbs up. Would you buy this house for $2.8 million? Yeah, give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.